it's looking like a summer's day and you're clearly dressed for it and I'm not because it is really cold and it's only going to get worse. So somebody goes out to the car first thing in the morning and it's deader than a doornail. What's going on? Well, there's a couple things that can happen, but more than likely what's happening in the cold month, winter months is the battery itself is starting to go out. And what we usually find is, first off, the car, because it's cold, the oil's thicker, it takes more power to get it started. Also, a battery is a chemical reaction, and just like a glow stick, if you take a glow stick, you stick it in the freezer, it lasts a little bit longer because you're slowing down that chemical reaction. The cold does the same thing with your battery. It slows down that chemical reaction, and so you're not getting as much power out of the battery, and also the car is requiring more power to get it started. And so it makes it so it's harder to start in the winter. Um, so how do we fix it? Yeah, what is the best way to deal with that? Best way to avoid that is to go and get it checked before. Do some preventative maintenance. Um, here we actually will test your battery and your alternator and starter for free. If you come in, bring your car, it only takes about five minutes. We can check all of those systems, make sure that they're, they're functioning like they should. Um, in fact, I just had a gentleman came in the other day, had a diesel, and he said it's just getting a little harder to start in the morning. We went and measured his batteries. He had one battery that was putting out 450 cold cranking amps, and one that was only putting out 67. That battery should be putting out about 750 cold cranking amps each. And so we were able to hurry and replace his batteries, and he doesn't get stranded in the morning. Okay, and that is clearly not the way to go. You, you're rushing to work, you're rushing to school, you go out and you're in serious trouble if your car won't start. So prevention, yeah? Oh yes, prevention is much better. I'm, something's going to happen when you most likely don't want it to. Right. And so if you can take care of it before, um, it's obviously a lot better. Uh, there's other things you want to check for in the winter. Um, I know a lot of people have been coming in lately saying that they're not getting enough heat. And now because it is colder, they're starting to recognize that. Usually what we're finding is, is that their coolant is low. They have a leak or something's gone or it just hasn't been maintained. And so a good thing to do is to check your coolant level. Make sure that it's functioning like it should. There's no leaks in your cooling system. Also thermostats, we can make sure that those are opening like they should. So that you do have that nice warm car ride when you're trying to go down to grandma's house. Right, that's always a good thing. Now I understand and I'm reliably informed that you have a really good reputation amongst your peers of mechanics. You're very honest. You only really do what's necessary. Um, and I, as a woman, I like that because I do not like going in somewhere and being ripped off. That never happens with you. The way I see it, I live here in the valley. I've lived here my entire life and I want to continue that. And if I'm going down the grocery store or wherever I'm at and I see somebody that's a customer of mine, I want them to come and say hi to me, not run away from me. <laughs> and so I think... Or throw things. Or throw things, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so if I treat everybody like they are my neighbor, which okay. they are, right then it just works better for all of us. Right. I want to make sure people are getting to where they want to go, but that they can get there in a safe manner, that they're not going to get stranded, but that they have some money to get there as well. Right. So, so uh, really good service, really great guys here. Um, come in and get the maintenance done that you need now, right? Yeah, another thing people want to check is also your tire pressure. As the air gets colder, it condenses, and so your tires will run a little bit underinflated. And so we want to make sure we get those tires inflated so you don't have a blowout or something else, and so also you have better traction. They, they function like they should. I'm actually scared to drive home now. Maybe I better pull in and see what you can do for me. Um, thanks a lot, Mike. Great place. Tell us where people can find you. So we're on Airport Road. Uh, the address is 347 West Airport Road. If you just come down from Main Street, head west. We're right across from SNS Sports. If you hit the railroad tracks, you've gone a little bit too far. Just turn around and come back. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Thanks a lot. And uh, hopefully we can get some people in and get them taken care of. Yeah, we want to make sure everybody has a safe journey this uh, holiday season. Okay. Thanks, Mike. Thank you.